Hey everyone, Bradley tuning in, coming out with another video and I am on a cruise. It's absolutely beautiful overlooking Jamaica. I'm gonna share that with you in a moment, but appropriately I wanna talk about marijuana and what is happening in the GTA. There's a lot of information in the real estate industry on what it means to the value of your home as well as tenants, but I wanna share some of the highlights with you. As well, I did a video not that long ago, you can check it out. It's called October 2018, four pot plants per home. Uh, you can check that out. I'll also tag it down in the YouTube video. But let me ask you guys a question before I get started. Would you feel uncomfortable if you were buying a home that legally and appropriately grew marijuana within it? It's an interesting question. You can have the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Meanwhile, I'm going to turn around and share this view because it's absolutely amazing. So let's talk, before we get into the value of the home and the real estate transaction, let's talk to the tenants. A few items for you guys. First off, it comes to insurance. Be aware that the landlord's insurance might not cover the ability to grow these plants as legal as it is. And so you want to have that open dialogue with them, that conversation. And the landlord can actually include provisions that restrict the, the growth uh, and or the consumption of cannabis in the unit. And, and they actually have the right to evict you if you break that rule. So make sure you know the rules and you have an open conversation with the landlord. Now let's talk to the homeowners. For those of you who are land, landlords or homeowners, um, yes, you have the ability, but the, the real question is, is it worth it? Because there's three main areas I wanna focus in on. First off is insurance. As mentioned, there is uh, insurance companies are actually asking the question now. As part of that as well, some of them are actually saying that they don't want it. And to me, it says either your cost is gonna go up or better, maybe they don't even uh, accept your application and you need to shop around. So you wanna make sure you've got a company that's gonna support that. Number two is mortgages. A lot of the mortgage companies now as part of the application, they actually have in the fine print that you will not grow uh, marijuana in the home. So we need to be careful that we're not in default of the mortgage. And number three, the biggie as you hear time and time again is condos. Condos have that overarching power where they can say they prohibit the growth or consumption of marijuana in the individual units. In the main areas, yes, but in the individual units, they can do it as well. So we wanna make sure that we're protected in that. So now I wanna to talk to, speaking on, let's say you wanna sell your house, what is gonna happen? Well, first off, that the property is, un the property is unsafe, even if you can't see it, as a result of all this, it's considered a latent defect and you still need to disclose it to the buyers. Number two is this whole idea of clauses. Now that we're a little more familiar, it's been since October that this has uh, been going on. There are clauses that have been made up that we're including in our documents to protect buyers. So if you are a seller and there's any history of growth in your home, please be aware that you need to disclose it. So one of two things will happen. You'll either say the seller represents and warrants that, uh, that there was either was or was not a history of marijuana in the home to the best of your knowledge. So make sure you're completely transparent. And so the real question here is, does it affect the resale value of your home? And if people are asking the question, even if it, they don't, it doesn't affect them personally, and again, leave that in comments below, does it bother you if someone were to grow it in the home, even if it was legal? The truth is that if you have a history of it in the home, it will affect your value because people, well, they'll start cutting their prices. So we wanna make sure uh, as much as possible, I would avoid it in your home. Meanwhile, if you're purchasing a home and it doesn't bother you, maybe you can get a bit of a deal. So hopefully they share some insight and hopefully you've been able to get a little bit of a view of what Jamaica looks like. We're gonna continue our cruise. We're absolutely loving it. And I will see you guys next week with more tips and tricks. Take care and keep it real.